It's no secret that Bobby Burns has been on this downward spiral ever since he moved to Los Angeles. And there's a lot, a lot that has to do with mental health. And this is actually some things that might be able to help you or someone that you know. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health. So what I like to do is pull topics from the YouTube community and try to teach you valuable lessons to help you improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So yeah, I am going to be talking about Bobby Burns in Los Angeles, but my videos aren't for Bobby Burns. My videos are for YouTubers. I try to take the content that you're already consuming and try to see if there might be something that you can relate to and then we talk and have some suggestions and see if there's something that is affecting you as well. Because the chances of Bobby Burns seeing my video are slim to none. The chances that you're gonna see my video are 100% because you're actually watching it right now. So I hope there's some lessons that you can learn from this video. Um, this is something where I'll be sharing my own personal experiences as well as experiences I've seen with a lot of other people. So this has to do not only with the places you are, but also the people that you're hanging out with, all right? So those of you who don't, follow Bobby Burns or Shane Dawson, just a little bit of a backstory. Bobby Burns has been a creator on the platform for I think he said like 10 years, something like that. And he made a video hating on Shane Dawson and Shane Dawson ended up seeing it and making like a three part mini series back before he made like his eight part series. And he made a little mini series about confronting his hater. And him and Bobby, you know, met up and they talked and then, you know, Bobby went back home to Nashville, Tennessee. So shortly after that, Shane and Bobby talked and Bobby wanted to move out to Los Angeles and work with Shane and get something going. Day to day job. If you wanted a day to day job, by the way, this is really funny because Memeology 101 is another channel here on YouTube and like, I don't know. I don't know what our relationship is. I, I like the guy. He does a lot of in-depth research. But anyways, if you want to see the rise and fall of Bobby Burns, just go watch the Memeology video. I will link it down in the description below. Um, but it shows the entire journey. And just, I remember watching it the other night and I was just like, oh my God. Oh my God. So just to give you guys a point of reference, this is Bobby before moving to Los Angeles. So much breath. Wee, wee, wee. And this is Bobby now. Keep the change, you filthy animal. Who put the mother cat? Who put the mother rat? Feel like hit a mother man when a deep cut on a dumb side with a hot strike. Yeah, kill the mother. Don't be now here. Like helping make some of it. I like I'm enjoying myself. It's fun. Oh wow, it's about boobs and butts. I follow so many twerking pages on Instagram. What? I love twerking. I love booty. That's great. Why the f am I being so judgmental of that? It's just someone making content that people happen to like. So when it comes to the case of Bobby Burns, like there was there was a long time. There was a long time when I'm like, I could I had a lot of empathy. I could definitely relate. I'm like, okay. You know, he's trying to find his, you know, the right creative outlet, especially after what happened with Shane Dawson series. And, you know, he, he wants to be more creative. And even though I wasn't a fan of his music, I'm like, okay, man, do you, like, whatever. Like, I just, I'm a huge, huge, huge person uh, about like, just find something that you love doing and do it. You know what I mean? Like, like I said, even though his music isn't for me, like it's for other people. And if he loves doing it, do that. But the issue is, is that, it's completely changed him. So what I wanna talk about is, if those of you who have followed my channel for a while, um, you probably saw the video I did about Garrett Watts and a geographical. So I will link that up in the info card. But anyways, a geographical is when you leave like your city or state because you have a bunch of problems, right? Your mental health is terrible, your relationships, all this stuff. And you think that moving to another city or moving to another place or even another side of town or sometimes it's even moving a job, it's gonna help, right? But the problem is, no matter where you go, there you are. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about something I like to call a reverse geographical, where Bobby needs to get the hell up out of Los Angeles, all right? So yeah, something that I do is I, I watch people and I see how they are improving or kind of like falling down a slippery slope. It's something that I've had to do working in addiction treatment. Um, and you know, a lot of people have mental health issues and all of that. 
and I have to watch them and see how they're doing, see how, they, how they're progressing. And I am here in Las Vegas, and something that I would do, because we would get a lot of clients from out of state, right? A ton of clients from out of state. Something that I would always tell people is listen very carefully, okay? If there is even a 1% chance that going back home is gonna lead to a relapse, you shouldn't go back home. And Las Vegas has a ton of amazing resources for staying sober, and that sounds ridiculous, but it's true. Um, so I would tell people like, you know, stay in Las Vegas. There's a bunch of resources. I'll help you find a sober living, da, 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 da. But I had some people who would come out here and stay in Las Vegas and this city would just eat them alive, right? They would just keep relapsing. They'd get kicked out of sober living. I've had people living on the streets that I've run into at the grocery store down my house. I'm like, what the heck is happening, right? And there's a certain point where I have to tell them, I'm like, yo, you cannot handle Las Vegas, you need to get out of here, right? And sometimes that's not even going back home, but sometimes it's just, this city is not for you. And that's kind of what I'm seeing with Bobby Burns. He, he cannot handle Los Angeles. And this isn't a knock at Bobby Burns, but it kind of is, it's more tough love. Like, this is for a lot of you, like, Bobby Burns is young. He's in his like mid twenties, I believe. Some of you are younger than that. Like sometimes we're just not mature enough to have that type of freedom, you know? Like for me personally, I'm an addict in recovery and Las Vegas was eating me alive. I had to get out of here. I had to get out of Las Vegas, but eventually I moved back here, right? But I would have had to be very careful and look for the signs if this city was gonna take me back down again. So I'm actually going to link another video up in the info card and probably in the end screen too. So I have a second channel that's all about addiction. So if you wanna hear about how I stay sober in Las Vegas, make sure you go check that out. But like, some of us just can't do it and some of us need to go somewhere else. So like, I find people, I'm like, okay, look, you can't handle Las Vegas. Okay, going back home is a bad idea because you have a toxic family or whatever it is. Um, well here, how about this other place, right? Maybe like Oregon or the East Coast or whatever it is. But in Bobby's situation, like man, like I'm seeing this from him and I'm like, is his family worried about him? Like, are his friends worried about him? Jordan was worried about him, they're no longer together. And I'm just watching this kind of downward spiral and it's like, he just can't handle Los Angeles. Maybe he needs to take this venture somewhere else. And that's the thing, like a lot of people want to go live that life and they want to succeed because LA and all this other stuff. And like, some people just can't handle it. But this kind of brings me to my second topic, okay? We need to change the people that we're around. Something that Tristan and I were actually talking about that I've noticed and she's noticed too is, Bobby has lost like his support group. Like I remember watching Bobby, right? Right around the Shane Dawson time. And he had his girlfriend, Jordan, right? When he went out to meet Shane Dawson, he had his brother there and him and his brother, like they did a lot of projects together, you know? And Bobby has other siblings, but when he was back in Tennessee, he had a lot of friends and they would do stuff together and make videos together and all of that. And when he first moved to Los Angeles, he was like getting all his friends involved and everything. And it was like, okay, cool. Like Bobby's trying to take his success and give it to some of his friends and all of this, right? And like over the past few months, as we've seen Bobby kind of, you know, start slipping, where is everybody, right? We haven't seen his brother at all. Jordan's gone. We haven't seen any of his friends that he was making all those collabs with. So what's happening? And uh, you know, in Bobby's situation, speculation, but I can tell you from my personal experience, right? I, I made a video the last time about Bobby Burns and said, stop enabling him, right? Well, I had a bunch of people who would ena enable me and they would tell me things that I didn't want to hear. They were trying to keep me accountable. They were trying to get me on the right track. I didn't want to hear from them. So what I did was I found a different group, group of friends who didn't give a crap about me and just let me run wild and do whatever uh, I wanted to do. And that's something I'm worried that you might be doing. That's something I'm worried that Bobby might be doing, right? Because you don't see those other people like the rocks in Bobby's life around anymore and he's going further and further, further off. And it, it breaks my heart too because I actually have experience with um, my best friend dying because of something similar like this. I made a video a long time ago about losing my best friend to addiction. And even though I was still in my act of addiction, like, um, I don't know, I knew that she had a problem and she got into a, a, a car accident and it almost killed her. And I was worried about her and all that stuff. And I had to like start like getting real with her. I'm like, girl, you gotta get your stuff together. You gotta get your stuff together. Then my best, my other best friend, like she had to tell 
Courtney too, like you gotta get your stuff together. And we both had to distance ourselves away from her. And many other people had to distance ourselves away from Courtney. But all Courtney did was find people who would en enable her behaviors. And at 24 years old, she passed away, right? And that's something that I, I held a lot of guilt over, you know, um, even still to this day, but like, the guilt is is different. I've learned to, you know, uh, heal and forgive myself and stuff like that. But one of the worst parts about mental illness and stuff is like, you can't force anybody to change, right? And sometimes, it's something I've taught you guys about boundaries, it's like, sometimes you gotta separate yourself from the other person just for your own mental stability. So when I see Bobby and what he's doing, I had a bunch of comments on the last one like, thinking that I said like you can overdose on weed, which I said that you can't, and I've even made pro marijuana videos, I don't know. But anyways, like, you, I'm worried that he's going down that path and he's hanging around people who just wanna be around him because he smokes, because he parties, because he acts crazy and all those other things, right? And, and that's worrisome, especially for young people. Like, like I said in my last video about Bob, Bobby Burns, what breaks my heart, what breaks my heart is every time a young person passes away, every time anybody passes away, where people see it coming from miles and miles and miles away, but other people are shocked by it, right? And that's where my concern is about Bobby Burns, but that's where my concern is about you. And you might have friends who are doing this. You might have friends who you've had to cut out of your life or they've stopped hanging out with you because they're hanging out with a bad crowd. But anyways, this is some stuff that I want you to really think about. But anyways, I have a couple other videos planned because there's some topics just about finances and relationships um, that I wanna talk about with Bobby and Jordan because I know a lot of you can relate. I had a bunch of those tr troubles too. But anyways, that's all I got for you with this video. So let me know down in the comments below. Like, have you had to get out of somewhere because the city was just bad for you? Have you had to leave? Like, let me know down in the comments below, all right? Or, or here's a second one, here's a different question. So answer this one if you would like, maybe both. Like, have you purposely hung out with people who enable you because the other friends would tell you what you needed to hear, not what you wanted to hear, right? They gave you that tough love. So let me know down in the uh, comments down below. Let's have a conversation, okay? But anyways, that's all I got for you with this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And I have linked the other video over on my other channel about how I stay sober in Las Vegas, a city that is designed to kill me. So go and check it out right now, all right? Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.